Good afternoon, James. How are you getting on? Afternoon, mate. Um, yeah, doing doing all good as well as I can. Obviously, it's tough and strange times for everyone at the minute, but it's what it is. You just got to get on with it and, and stay at home. Obviously, and follow the guidelines and stuff. And yeah, just just cracking on with stuff at home, really. What have you been doing to keep busy? Well, obviously, it's important that we keep fit. So we've obviously been getting sent the uh, the individual programs off the, the sports science and the conditioning team at Leicester. So you try and, for the first time in my life, I'm actually trying to do more exercise than what I actually need to do, um, because there's nothing else to do. So trying to trying to fill time slots. Obviously, I've got my dog as well. So um, I have to walk him obviously every day and just little things around the house as much as I can to keep myself occupied. To be honest. The, you mentioned the dog there. We've seen a lot of posts on social media about probably your favourite time of the day, isn't it, going on a dog walk? Most definitely, yeah. Um, I'm sure he gets bored of the walk before I do. But, um, no, nah, listen, yeah, it's just obviously got to keep myself occupied and stuff and having the dogs, like having a, they call her a man's best friend, don't they? So, um, yeah, he's been loving having everyone around. What about the, the players and, and the rest of the lads? Because, obviously, for you guys, you're seeing each other every single day. You're outside and you're active. How much of that have you missed? Well, I've missed that. That's one of the most th- things I've missed the most, actually, um, to be honest, because, like I was saying earlier, you build up friendships with your teammates that you can't necessarily build in other workplaces, I don't think, because you go through so many highs and lows together. You're always in it together. You always get the same goals together. and You build up friendships that are like... <laughs> you see them every day. Think about like every single day I see them. Like all, all week and um, I'm missing seeing them every day I miss the banter at breakfast I miss just the general chat I miss obviously playing with them working hard for them training like all the fun stuff the hard stuff you just miss everything and like times like this obviously make you realise you should never take the little things for granted you know so um, I look forward to seeing them obviously whenever that will be Are you staying in touch obviously presumably on, on group chats messaging and, and FaceTime that sort of thing? Yeah, I've been on been on FaceTimes. I've been um, bombarded in the WhatsApp group chat that we've got with uh, footy trivia and, and stuff like that, just to keep the lads occupied, keep in touch. A few FIFA games against a few of the lads and stuff. Um, so yeah, obviously trying to keep in touch as much as possible, and, and obviously making sure that they're they're all okay and healthy and stuff as well. And Brendan Rogers as well. We gather he's been getting in touch with a lot of the players at home as well. Yeah, he's been obviously from what I know, he's been um, keeping in touch with all the players, but a couple of phone calls and stuff just to see how each other are getting on and stuff and yeah he's a great guy so he's doing that with all the lads and um, yeah just trying to keep in touch with everyone really and stay in the same boat. Presumably this time off has, has given you a lot of time to, to look back and reflect and on your career so far to date you've been at the club now nearly two years how would you rate that yeah. time? Oh brilliant gone better than I could have ever imagined to be honest I mean it's obviously so disappointing what ha- what's happened this year that the season's obviously had to come to a stop for now because we're doing so well and we're in such a strong position. Um, it's been it's been crazy to it to think like if I think back maybe what am I now twenty three if I think back four years ago three four years ago I was playing I was on loan at Aberdeen from Norwich and now I kind of I'm playing every week in the Premier League and that's all I always wanted to do. So sometimes stuff like this can make you really reflect and be kind of be proud of myself to. That I've got to this level and obviously look forward now it's not no idea at the minute but like you said this has obviously given us time to reflect on what's happened whereas normally you can only think what's what's forward you know because it's the next game it's the the ne- where's the next point coming from who, who are we chasing down on the table or whatever but this actual period of time gives you time to reflect so yeah it's been it's been a whirlwind two years and I've loved every session of it I feel right at home at Leicester I feel like part of the furniture already um, and I love it here I love the lads love, love the fans great manager so very, very happy. Have you got one moment in particular that you look back on that's sort of your favourite memory so far with the Foxes? I've got two. I've got two now, I think. Um, my Premier League debut, which will, which I'll never forget, at Old Trafford, the Theatre of Dreams, under the lights, Friday night football. I remember thinking when we went to walk out to the pitch before the game and seeing like the Sky Sports crew and all the cameras, like you don't get that many cameras in the Championship. So... When I, as soon as I seen the cameras, I was thinking, are they all for this game? There's cameras all the way down the touchline, different TVs, different radios, whatever it was. And um, it's just a crazy, surreal feeling to walk out at Old Trafford in my Premier League debut. And that's the moment I'll never forget. And then the other one has to be the 9 0 at Southampton because I'm not sure I'll ever play in a game where I win 9 0 again. Um, 
and that was just crazy. Every time we touched, just turned to gold, and even Chile was on the score sheet winning, so you know it's going to be a good day when Ben's bagging. Yeah, fantastic memory of that. Hopefully plenty more still to come. Uh, just moving away from football, we've been asking uh, a lot of the players to recommend a box set, maybe, what you've been watching, presumably on the TV, to, to pass the time. <clears throat> yeah, I actually put a tweet out, I think it might have been yesterday <laughs> or the day before, about the, the main character from Money Heist. I've just finished Money Heist Series 4, and um, it's actually a Spanish programme, but you can watch it with English voiceover, so sometimes, every now and again, you will notice the, the out-of-time mouth, but you can look past it because the series is so good, and if you get into it, wow, you can really rattle out the episodes because it's, it's one of them that you just can't turn it off. Um, so if anyone's watching and hasn't watched it, I recommend Money Heist. Yeah, Ricardo recommended that one as well, so it must be popular. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good taste, Ricky, good taste. <laughs> uh, right, before we leave you, thank you very much for, for giving us your time today, James. Um, how important is it, though, that, that people at home that are watching this make sure they do stay home because you stay home and, and you stay away from other people and you will save lives? It's as simple as that, yeah. I mean, people might be getting bored of hearing people say it, but it's what we have to do, it's what we have to say, because staying inside is saving lives, and I don't think you can actually um, like underestimate the, the importance of that. And listen, we all want football back. We've just spoken about football for 10 minutes. The quicker we, the more we listen to the, the guidelines and the protocol, the more chance we have of getting football back. So, um, and not just that, obviously, the saving lives and the health and doing everything we can, giving the National Health Service every possible chance to, to try and get this under control by staying at home. And it's something so simple, just stay inside, listen to the guidelines, follow the protocol, and hopefully this can all, all be over soon.